Hi, welcome to Todd's Tips. I'm Todd Barsness of Full-Time VoiceOver Talent, and Todd's Tips is a feature of VO Marketing Pro. Now, if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VoiceOver, just visit our Facebook page, website, or contact us via email. The links are located here. Every single week, as promised, we always put these caveats, our audio visual producer demand, we have these caveats so that you don't feel some sort of emotion or pressure to do exactly what I do. When I tell you these do's and don'ts, I want you to stop and think and evaluate and apply them to your particular situation. Because as you can see by these caveats, uh, I'm different than you are, but there's enough sameness in running a business um, and being a solopreneur, that these are things to think about because there's just some things that across the board are true. You just have to take those principles and apply them to your situation. So today I am doing a do. I do tire of those in the VO industry who claim to speak for the VO industry. I tire of those in the VO industry who claim to speak for the VO industry. Now, some of you have been watching and probably go, oh no, you say, here's Todd haranguing VO coaches again, or industry experts. Well, call it what you may, but I do get tired of people who seem to consider themselves the Moseses of voiceover come down from the mountain with stone tablets written by the finger of the VO God. They talk about industry standards. They talk about this is good for the industry. They proclaim this is bad for the industry. They pontificate. If you don't charge industry standard rates, then you aren't a team player or you're selfish. And they say even bigger things than that. They kind of get in your face and uh, they can be quite intimidating people that come off very strongly and, and say that they're experts and say that they speak for the industry. Well, two things. Who determines industry standards? Have you ever thought about that? Just take a step back and say, okay, let's take rates, for example. Who determines that? I know that there's surveys, like for instance, there's the, there's the GVAA rate guide, there's the SAG after a union, and I know those have been established for years, and there's lots of people that say they, they swear by those things. And they did research and they came up with those rates. But who says that those have to be the industry rates? That's still just a human being or a group of human beings that have said, this is what we think is a good rate. Um, I'm part of the industry and I don't abide by those standards. <laughs> Call me selfish. Call me, you know, I'm not a team player. I've been in this for 13 years. And by the way, I know a lot of people a lot of people that don't abide by those standards. Again, mm -hmm. put us in a group, excoriate us, do what you want to do, um, and blackball us, whatever. Um, but that's one thing. Who determines industry standards? Second of all, I'm very, very, very leery of industry experts who use that kind of language, especially when they turn around just after laying people low who don't follow the industry standards. And um, sometimes they even call them out by name and they call them names. And then they sell you something. That's what kind of drives me crazy. They put everybody down, say, these are the industry standards. You got to do it our way. Now, can I sell you something? <laughs> In the words of Barney Fife on the Andy Griffith show, now that's where you cheapen yourself. Oh, no, no, Andy, don't, don't try to laugh your way out of this. That, that's where you cheapen yourself. Warning, do what you want. It's your business, do what you want. Listen to who you want. But for me, I'm always careful to vet, vet very carefully those, speak, those people who say that they speak for the industry. I wanna know some things about them, namely how long they've been in the business, how successful have they been? That is, how much money have they made? How much money have they, if they're coaching, how much money have their students made? How are they doing? Those are the types of things that I want to know if somebody is speaking as an industry expert. So, some things to think about. Again, I'm not trying to be controversial. 
All I'm trying to do is there seems to be this large river of flow that says, this is how you have to do things. And if you don't do things this way, you're either not going to be successful, you're going to be blackballed, you're not a good person. And I think, well, all I do is stand at the riverbank of this big flood and say, hmm, I wonder if that's all it's chalked up to be. I wonder if they really know what they're talking about. So that's why I do tire of those in the VO industry who claim to speak for the VO industry. Be very careful when you either speak for the VO industry or you listen to them. I don't claim to speak for the VO industry. I actually don't really sometimes feel like I'm a part of the VO industry, even though I am. I sometimes don't feel like I fit. So anyway, some thoughts for you to ponder. Thanks a lot for joining me for Todd's Tips. And if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VO, the links are listed here.